some of y'all may not get this, but these are just some things that I find funny. I think that people sometimes tend to forget that I am also a human being. And by that, I mean when people notice who I am in person, the looks they give me are hilarious. Because, you know, they go through the whole realization of like, is that, is that him? And I don't like to give away the fact that I am who I am, so I'll act like I don't see it. But it's so funny because they will stare at me for minutes trying to figure this out. I remember one time I was at the mall where I live getting shoes, and there was a kid standing next to me, and he started looking at me like this. And so I looked at him like, hey. And he was like, you're that dude from TikTok. And I was like, I am. And he was like, what are you doing here? I live here. And he was astonished. He was like, oh my, like, you live here? Like, here. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my god. And look, I'm not complaining. I just thought it was funny. Thank you for your time. The reason men and women will never understand each other. Men are a straight line. We are simple. Women are a twirl around, up, down, left, right. They are intricate as hell. For instance, if a man says I'm fine, that means I'm fine. If a woman says I'm fine, oh my gosh, I'm sorry for you. With women, there's always something underlying to what they say. So I'm fine never actually means I'm fine. You have to do a mathematical equation to figure out what's wrong with them. Let me give you another example. For instance, if a girl wants to approach a guy that already likes her, she doesn't even have to say anything crazy. She can literally walk up to him and say, me like you, and he will say, me like you too. Whenever a guy is approaching a girl, he has to come up with the best pickup line. He has to come up with something that will bedazzle her. Because anything that falls under spectacular, it's not going to work out. So in conclusion, men are too simple and women are too intricate. Thank you for your time. Let me just say, there are many different things I could spend my money on. I could spend my money on clothes. I could spend my money on shoes. I could spend my money on so many different things. But 90% of the time, I spend all of my money on the same thing. Food. Let me tell y'all something. Food is a trickster because you will go to Chick-fil-A and spend like $7. And you'll be like, oh, it's just $7. Sorry. And then you'll keep going to Chick-fil-A. And before you know it, you'll be like, where did $80 go out of my account? The same way that I eat food, food feasts on my money. And it's funny because I know the workers know that I'm struggling because I'll walk into Chick-fil-A and be like, hey, let me get a number. Matter of fact, uh, let me, let me, let me just get a large fry. And then they got the nerve to ask me, oh, that's it? And it don't make it no better when your friends ask you, oh, you want to come out to eat with us? When you know that you don't have the money to do it, but you know that you want food. Of course I'm going to say yes. Food secures their bag better than I do. Thank you for your time. Why food will always have my heart over girls. When I spend money on food, it is guaranteed that I will eat. You can spend $300 on a girl and it can be for nothing. Because if she decides to up and leave, she can do that. Food can't. Me and food have a consistent relationship, you know? Like, it's not like I text food and they don't text me back. No, when I eat food, it is eaten. But when I text girls, they don't text back. Food is not wishy-washy with what it wants. Food wants to be eaten. Girls don't know what they want. Because one minute they're hungry and then you get them food and they say, no, I'm not really that hungry anymore. But then if you don't get them food, it's also oh, we're not getting food for each other now. That's where we stand. Okay, keep that same energy. Food is even emotionally supportive because when I'm stressed, I can just eat food and I feel better. And also with food, there is a clear give and take. Like I eat food and it provides me with sustenance. You never know what you're going to get when you talk to a girl. Thank you for your time. It's that time of the year, and I could not be more ecstatic. This is that time of the year where you get with your friends, you ding-dong ditch people, you eat candy all day, and nobody's gonna tell you that you can't. And let me just say, if you are not in the Halloween spirit, do not mess it up for everyone else. And honestly, I don't even know why you wouldn't like Halloween, because you get to dress up as whatever you want, you get to meet your friends, and get free candy for it. And I don't care how old I am, if I come to your door in an outfit... I deserve candy. This is the time of year where people leave bowls out and say, take one piece of candy, please. What do you think this is? I am going to grab a handful and it is going in my bag. And if you have the audacity to think that I want pretzels and fruit to go in my bag, keep it to yourself, please. Because if you give it to me, I might hurt your feelings. So everyone, please get cavities with pleasure. Put your outfits on no matter how cold it is outside and wear them with pride. And most of all, have a happy Halloween. Thank you for your time.
I'm about to spread some facts. First of all, let me get this straight. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal, period. If you wonder why your breath stink, it's probably because you don't floss. Avocados taste like grass dirt sauce. Caramel is pronounced caramel and not caramel. And pecan is pronounced pecan and not pecan. If you don't run up the steps after you turn the downstairs light off, you're a maniac. And I'm not scared of the dark. I'm scared of what's in the dark. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Spiders are the scariest thing on the planet. PS4 is better than Xbox One. Summer's better than winter, but fall is the best season. Androids may have better technology than iPhones, but I guarantee you when the next iPhone comes out, I'll be first in line. Anime is not a cartoon, it is a spiritual experience. And lastly, soda is soda and not pop, and lollipops are lollipops, not dum-dums. Thank you for your time. Fellas, let me answer a question that men have been asking for generations. Why do the ugliest guys get the most beautiful girls? The reason they get the best looking girls is because they have a mental understanding of something that we do not get. They understand that even if they are not the girls type, there are certain fundamental needs that every woman has. For instance, women love to laugh. Women love to feel comfortable, and women love to feel safe. So they think, if I can't get them by just being attractive, then I have to be able to do those other things. I'll never forget Kevin Hart said, I was too short to get the girls. So I had to be funny because I had nothing else going for me. So please believe me, if you don't think that you're attractive, there are other things that you can rely on. You have to learn how to rely on your strengths because if you're not attractive, then you have to be funny, you have to be smart, you have to be an athlete, or you have to have something else in your arsenal. And they are also not afraid of being curved because it happens to everybody. So just put yourself out there. Thank you for your time. Things parents do that piss me off. When you ask your parents, hey, can we go to McDonald's? And they say, you got McDonald's money? Every problem in the world stems from my phone. I can be looking for something as simple as a sock. And I tell my mom, hey, I can't find my sock. And she'd be like, yeah, that's because you're always on that damn phone. I can come home on some nights at like 1 o'clock in the morning and hear absolutely nothing. But one night, come home at 1045 and they're like, where have you been? You are never right in any situation. For instance, you can go to your mom and say, hey, but mom, 2 plus 2 is 4. And she says, no, on the syllabus, it says 2 plus 2 is 3. So today, 2 plus 2 is going to be 3. You ever go somewhere like church and church ends at 12. So you expect to leave at 12 but somehow your parents get caught up in 87 different conversations and it's 2 45 p.m and you're sitting on the steps eating candy waiting for them lastly why is it that every time i ask to go out they need to know who what when where why and just 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 let me go out thank you for your time parents listen up say i'm staying after for something like sports workouts right if we get out every day at 5 45 why is it that you can be late every single day. The time is not changing. If I get out at 5.45 every day, then you should be there at like 5.40 every day. And the double standard here is what pisses me off. Why is it that if practice ends at 5.45, you show up every day at 6.15, right? But if there's a party that ends at one o'clock, you'll be blowing my phone up with phone calls at 11.30. What makes it worse is that I have to wait on you every day. So say the party ends at 12.30 now, and you actually show up at 12.30, but the party's still going till like 12.40. I come out 10 minutes late, all hell breaks loose. And the worst part is when they hit you with that line. I know you ain't got no attitude. Am I missing something? Thank you for your time. All right, listen up. The cold season is approaching and there's certain things I need to address. If we're standing outside in the cold and you see me quiet standing there not talking to anybody, do not ask me why I'm not talking. It is way too cold outside for me to be talking to you right now, okay? I can talk to you. Matter of fact, we can have a long conversation as soon as we get inside to some heat. And it's funny because the cold will turn nice people into straight bullies, yo. Look, you try talking to a nice person while it's cold outside. You're going to say something to me. Hey, shut up. I ain't talking to you right now, it's above me now, okay? I'm not talking to you until we get inside. As the fall season approaches, it is becoming sweater weather and hoodie season. So do not ask me if I have something on under my hoodie, because no, okay, I don't. Thank you very much. And lastly, just because it's cold, don't think that you could get away with not wearing deodorant. No, 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 you need to be clean, you need to wear deodorant, and you need to brush your teeth and floss. Thank you for your time.